Hi, I'm Lewis Sauer, PJ professional and owner of Lewis Sauer Golf in Northbrook, Illinois. So what should you do after a round? Well, so often golfers usually pop some ibuprofen, but what we want to do is offer you an alternative. We're going to do some recovery exercises here using the power plate. We're going to have David come on in. And the nice thing about using the power plate is you're creating some vibration that's actually allowing the circulation in your body to help you recover from all the golf swings you've made. So now David's going to do a little exercise here where he's just working on his mobility and his stability post round. So he's not only getting his body to recover, he's also retraining his body on what he was trying to do in his golf swing, which is really a huge part to getting better so that the next day he's reminding himself what he's trying to do, but he's also let his body recover from all the shots he's hit that day. So another exercise we like to do either before the round or after the round is do some dynamic movement. So here David's gonna put this on his side and he's gonna do some half back, half through, being pretty dynamic. So your arms are gonna be straight, you're gonna turn halfway back and halfway through and you're gonna go back and forth. So with the power plate on, it requires you to really engage your body so that you don't go too fast in one direction, but then you're also learning how to change directions and be really smooth. The power plate is really critical to this because it's the vibration makes you engage your core so that you can control these movements that are going back and forth. So now let's go a little faster in both directions. So now he's really engaging here, which is like the golf swing where you're creating a lot more power through your arms, your torso, and then the stability in your legs. So here's another recovery exercise that you can do on the power plate. So David's going to hold the stick in one hand and let his leg swing back and forth. So again, he's creating stability by being in one leg and then more mobility by moving back and forth. So it's really opening up the hips, but it's also helping the body recover post round and prepare you for a pre round. It gets your body warmed up to move nice and fluid. A lot of people complain of their low back hurting after a round of golf because of all the twisting. So we're gonna do an exercise on the power plate here to help loosen up the low back and actually help repair it from the day. So George, come on in. Step on that power plate. Again, we're just gonna focus in on tilting from the pelvis, and so you feel a little pull in that back of the hamstring there. Again, this, this exercise with the vibration brings circulation to the hamstrings, goes right into the low back. Really helpful at uh, improving the recovery time, which is obviously important if you're planning on playing golf the next day. One area that golfers usually feel pain in is their low back. So we're gonna use the power plate here to help the back recover. So I'm gonna have George sit at the front edge of the power plate here. And again, the idea with the power plate is we're using the vibration to increase the circulation to the certain area of his body, the blood flow. This again is gonna help with his recovery time so he can go ahead and play the next day, but it's also gonna improve his range of motion, his flexibility as he goes back and forth. So after a round, it's always a good idea to get a massage. And you can do a few different uh, exercises on the power plate to massage out your calves and other parts of your body. So we're gonna start with a calf exercise here. David's gonna put one leg on and he's gonna cross the other leg over. He's gonna push down into the bottom leg and then roll back and forth so that he's really pressing into the power plate so you can feel that vibration. So for the next day, you'll be more recovered for that round of golf where you're walking. You'll have better mobility. You'll be able to use your feet better throughout the golf swing. Your balance will be better and you'll perform better. This is another great massage that you can do. We're gonna focus in on the quad and what we're doing by laying on the power plate is we're using the vibration to bring circulation to the quad areas, which then will help you get more blood flow and then help with the recovery process. Again, everything you're trying to do post round is to get you so that tomorrow you can play without feeling stiff. And this is a great way to massage out the quads.